Well, it looks like everything is uh, coming together because Brady Sluder apparently just apologized a few days ago, like two days ago at least. By the time I was making yesterday's video, he apologized two days ago. So, let me read you what he said. I would like to sincerely apologize for the insensitive comment I made in regards to COVID-19 while on spring break. I wasn't aware of the severity of my actions and comments. I'd like to take this time to own up to the mistakes I've made and apologize to the people I've offended. Like many others, I have elderly people who I adore more than anything in the world and other family members who are at risk. And I understand how concerning this disease is for us all. Our generation may feel invincible like I did when I commented. But we have a responsibility to listen and follow the recommendations in our communities. I will continue to reflect and learn from this and continue to pray for our well-being. I deeply apologize from the bottom of my heart for my insensitivity and unawareness of my actions. I've done a lot of things in my life that I'm not proud of. I failed. I've left down. And I've made plenty of mistakes. I can't apologize, though, to the people I've offended and the lives I've insulted. I'm not asking for your forgiveness or pity. I want to use this as a as motivation to become a bear person, a bear son, a bear friend, and a bear citizen. Listen to your communities and do as health officials say. Life is precious. Don't be ignorant and think you're invincible like myself. I've learned from tr these trying times and I've felt the precautions to the fullest. Unfortunately, simply apologizing just doesn't justify my behavior. I'm simply owning up to my mistakes and taking full responsibility for my actions. Thank you for your time and stay safe, everyone. All right, good. Well, it's a good thing that you apologize, Brady. And when this whole thing blows over, I hope everyone else who who practically did the same thing, but it, but probably in a different way, like uh, going outside and playing basketball, even though you're not supposed to, understands that. Uh, you are risking your lives, your your parents' lives, and your elderly people's lives. The elderly are your grandparents, and you're risking, and and you're and you're gonna risk your their lives because you want to do, to play basketball, and if you're playing basketball. That is not social distancing. If you're playing basketball with your friends, that is not social distancing at all. Please stop being careless. And don't do what Brady did, which is why he apologized. Don't go and party on spring break. In fact, don't go to any parties. Just stay at home and stay healthy and safe. Because if you go out and make physical contact right now, you will get the coronavirus. And you'll also pass it on to somebody else who will be 
vulnerable to get the coronavirus. I mean, come on. We cannot let that happen. All we need to do is keep following CDC guidelines and stay the fuck home. Okay? That's what we need to do. We need to stay the fuck home. I cannot stress that enough. But I am thankful that Brady apologized for his actions. Because at the end of the day, his health is more important than just some stupid spring break party. And pretty much, I am glad that he took the step on apologizing because of the just because well he clearly cares about living life to the fullest and I respect that so I hope Brady Slaughter did learn his lesson because it's truly an amazing thing if we can all just cooperate and comply with our local and state and country government to at least at least make sure that we do not get infected which may take some time than usual it may take longer than usual to be clear of the coronavirus as numbers pop by and pop on by daily. I am expecting to hear more deaths today, which is why they will be coming up rapidly as it happens. And so I hope all of you do not have the coronavirus. I seriously hope that you you s stay the fuck home, and yeah, listen to listen to Brady Slaughter or Slaughter. Sorry if I mispronounce his name wrong again, and make sure you stay the fuck home, and don't go to any spring break parties. That can wait for a little while. It's not that hard to stay at home and be safe and be extremely healthy. Because being healthy is all that matters. And it's important that we stay true to that. And that's what I need you to do.